In this presentation, we'll be giving a status update on the use of single-use duodenoscopes. The infection heat map has been developed from 34 published reports over 10 years. Duodenoscope-associated infection is a global problem, not unique to a specific scope manufacturer. Microorganisms can colonize any part of the duodenoscope that is difficult to access during reprocessing and include the air water channel suction channel, biopsy port, instrument channel, elevator mechanism and elevator channel. These microorganisms can then be transmitted during subsequent ERCPs. In order to minimize the risk of infection transmission, duodenoscope manufacturers and the FDA have recommended a four-stage rigorous cleaning and reprocessing measures that include wiping the external surface and irrigating the working channel in the procedure room, using brush and detergents with further manual irrigation in the reprocessing area, using a combination of high-level disinfectants and automated reprocessing, and finally rinsing the duodenoscope with star water prior to drying and storage. In December 2018, the FDA announced the interim results of duodenoscope reprocessing studies conducted in real-world settings. The study indicated a reprocessing failure and up to 3% of properly collected samples tested positive for high-concern organisms such as E. coli and Pseudomonas. Consequently, the FDA recommended transitioning to duodenoscopes with innovative designs that facilitate or eliminate the need for reprocessing. In order to facilitate better cleaning of the elevator site, and eliminate the risk of biofilm formation, all major manufacturers have developed a detachable cap that provides easy access to the mechanical components within the distal end of the duodenoscope. However, the detachable tip does not eliminate the risk of duodenoscope-associated infection, as microorganisms can colonize in multiple areas of the duodenoscope. In order to eliminate the risk of infection transmission at ERCP associated with the use of reusable duodenoscopes, Boston Scientific Corporation developed EXALT-D, the world's first single-use duodenoscope. Three studies have been conducted so far to evaluate the EXALT Model D single-use duodenoscopes. In a study conducted in the United States, ERCP was performed using the single-use duodenoscopes in 60 patients. The technical success rate was 96.7% and a wide range of pancreatic biliary interventions were able to be performed that included sphincterotomy, stone removal and stent change and removal. The median overall satisfaction score was 9 out of 10 among the endoscopists and the adverse event rate was 8.3% which included post-ERCP pancreatitis, post-sphincterotomy bleeding and worsening of pre-existing infection. This study evaluated the performance of EXALT Model D single-use duodenoscopes in Europe. Again, this study comprised 60 patients who underwent ERCP for common indications that included barduct stones and barduct strictures. The technical success rate was 95%, with a median operator satisfaction score of 9 out of 10. In qualitative assessment of satisfaction, the endoscopists reported that the performance was comparable to reusable duodenoscopes in the majority of cases. The adverse event rate was 5% in the study. The third study is a randomized trial comparing the performance of single-use and reusable duodenoscopes. The primary outcome measure was the total number of attempts at cannulation. The secondary outcome measures were technical function of duodenoscopes and adverse events. 98 patients underwent ERCPs in this randomized trial, with 48 patients randomized to the single-use scope and 50 patients randomized to the reusable scope. While the single-use duodenoscopes were more stiff, more difficult to pass into the stomach, and had inferior image quality, image stability, and air-water button functionality compared to the reusable duodenoscope, the median number of attempts to achieve successful cannulation of the desired duct was significantly lower for the single-use cohort at two versus five cannulation attempts. This was confirmed on multivariate logistic regression analysis, which showed that only the use of the single-use scope was significantly associated with less than six attempts at successful cannulation. In the following images, one can appreciate the different orientation of the major papilla during cannulation using the two duodenoscope types. With a reusable duodenoscope, 
capillary cannulation is achieved at a 60 to 80 degree angle. However, when using the single-use duodenoscope, given the relatively straight position of the scope, the bile duct is accessed at a 20 to 30 degree angle as the papilla is relatively on fast to the duodenoscope. Therefore, in summary, the technical performance and safety profile appear equivalent for single-use and reusable duodenoscopes. The advantages of single-use duodenoscopes include easy biliary access because cannulation is achieved on fast to the papilla in the straight plane. The scope stiffness enables easy passage of accessories such as single operator cholangioscopes in complex interventions, and the relatively straight position allows easier extraction of stones in plane with a duct axis. When using single-use duodenoscopes, maintain a neutral dial position when intubating and extubating. Firmly secure the air water buttons for optimal visualization and carbon dioxide insufflation. An elevated movement enables accessory visualization when exiting the biopsy channel. Given these promising observations, which patients are likely to achieve maximum benefit by application of sink use duodenoscopes today during an ERCP procedure, we recommend using single use duodenoscopes in patients with history of prior CR infection anywhere history of prior multidrug resistant organism infection in bile, such as CRE, VRE, and ESBL, and history of recurrent cholangitis, for example, due to PSC, secondary sclerosing cholangitis, hyaluronic malignancy. Single-use duodenoscopes should also be considered in patients on the immunosuppressive medication, patients with malignant biliary stricture undergoing systemic chemotherapy and other special circumstances such as receiving bone marrow transplant or severe neutropenia. Other practical consideration in the use of single-use duodenoscopes include whether you're performing weekend or after-hour procedures, procedures which are performed off-site and in low-volume ERCP centres due to the cost of capital and reprocessing. Utilising an activity-based costing and financial model, it is estimated that the per-procedure cost of a disposable duodenoscope in the United States can vary from $797 to $1,547 for centres performing at the 75th percentile of ERCPs and from $1,318 to $2,068 for centres performing at the 25th percentile of procedure volume based on an infection rate of 0.4 to 1% respectively. However, the true rate of duodenoscope-related infection remains unclear. In the single-use duodenoscope economics, it is important to take these three factors into consideration. The three factors are the device cost, reimbursement for that device, and the cost offset by not having to reprocess the duodenoscope. The cost of reusable duodenoscope reprocessing is constantly underappreciated. In June 2020, within six months of the release of XOC-D, given its public health importance in a significant development, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services approved a transitional pass-through payment that enables Medicare beneficiaries to have access to this innovative development. At the time of this presentation, all the data pertaining to single-use duodenoscopes are regarding only one manufacturer, Boston Scientific. And the data supporting its use include data from the United States, Europe, and a randomized trial. In addition, iterations being made for the second generation of single-use duodenoscope by a single manufacturer. The data on the technical and clinical effectiveness is not available for any other manufacturer of single-use duodenoscopes at this present time. New technology add-on pavement for advice for inpatient ERCP procedures performed using the Exalt Model D single-use duodenoscope is anticipated in October 2021, with coverage of inpatient and outpatient procedures by CMS for Medicare patients which constitutes about 50% of the patients in the United States. We speculate that private insurance carriers will follow suit for their beneficiaries. Creation of a unique ICD-10 procedure code to support hospitals in reporting the use of single-use duodenoscopes for ERCPs when performed in the inpatient setting is also underway. We believe that the development of single-use duodenoscope has significant implications for the future of ERCP. 
From a clinical perspective, this innovation eliminates the risk of duodenoscope-related infection transmission. It is possible that this may be the go-to technology when performing ERCP on immunocompromised or high-risk patients and carriers of multidrug-resistant organisms. The technology may have a niche role when performing certain procedures, such as single-operator clangioscopy-guided interventions. From a financial perspective, with approval from the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, it is expected that performance of ERCP using the single-use duodenoscope will find acceptance by other insurance carriers. Also, we believe that the technology will find increased acceptance at centers, particularly those performing low-volume ERCPs that do not want to invest in capital equipment. The maximum advantage, however, will be from the innovation viewpoint. Given the nature of the manufacturing process, it is likely that design iterations can be made rapidly, thereby enabling development of duodenoscopes tailored to meet specific physician needs such as small handles for endoscopies with small hand sizes and variable stiffness scopes for procedures that may require more or less flexibility, as warranted by the clinical scenario. It is our opinion that the single-use duodenoscope is a major milestone not only in the field of ERCP, but also in the field of flexible endoscopy. Furthermore, given the enhanced safety profile and comparable technical outcomes, the single-use duodenoscope may be the standard of care in the near future.